Hey folks, welcome to the channel and in this case I'll be explaining how to save a lot of money when buying ships in Star Citizen. 50%, 60%, 70% or even more, it can be done if you know how to do it. Before I go on, do remember, this is very much in alpha. It is quite buggy, it is quite unstable and there's very little chance of being of seeing much progress in a short period of time in spite of what the company says all the time. Everything I've said before still applies. In fact, it was only confirmed during the last citizen con, especially with Pyro. Pyro is not even close to be done. You won't see that anytime soon. It is the same town repeated, copy pasted four times and half of Pyro was not even there. As I said before the event even started, you only have what you saw in the trailers and it's not even that because you don't interact, you don't go into shops selling weird artifacts, none of that. Same base, copy pasted four times, half of the planets, the same little thing, copy pasted time and again. So. Is there fun to be had? Of course, otherwise we wouldn't be here. But you're the responsible adult that has to decide how you spend your money. My advice is spend as little as possible. So if it's your first time here and you wanna start playing Star Citizen right now, be my guest. You have the website, it's called robertspaceindustries.com. You go there and you create your account. You will have the links there below in the description. You will have the referral code of mine that will give you a little bit more extra money when you start playing, which will be handy so as to buy a couple more guns for your starter ship, which you will buy here. Once you create your account, you use the referral, you go to a pledge store, and here you buy the cheapest game package available, which is right now the Aurora MR. It's a game package, it's not a standalone ship. This means that it does include the game itself. Now, your game package is a little bit different from whatever else you end up buying here because you can melt it, meaning you can exchange it for store credit. But if you do that, given that it's a game package, well, you lose the game. So you don't want to melt your game package. But start with the Aurora. It's going to be 45, 50 bucks, depending on where you are. It's going to be a little bit of variation. I think that's fair enough for the experience that it offers as of right now, as of what exists in Star Citizen this moment, not what's being promised. All of that have very little expectation. Take all of that with a giant grain of salt. But let's say that you bought this and you say, oh, but I like that other ship so much. No problem. There's no problem whatsoever. If there's one thing you can say about CIG, they have no problem in taking your money. You started with your 45, 50 buck ship. You wanna buy something more expensive. You put money on top of that, what's called a CCU, a chassis upgrade. So. You bought the Aurora that I just recommended, right? And then after playing, you say, oh, but I really like that ship. Okay, play store, you go to ship upgrades, and what you buy is a CCU, a chassis upgrade of the existing ship that you have. 30 bucks because it, this is the, the ship price alone. What you saw there before is including the game package, but the ship is worth 30 bucks. All right, well, but I really like that cutter. Okay, no problem. Cutter, there you go. Now you buy for 14 bucks, you buy your upgrade from an Aurora to a Cutter. You pay that and what you end up having in your account is the upgrade itself, what's called a CCU. Now that stays in your hangar until you actually apply it to an Aurora MR. You may have like three different Aurora MRs. You just apply the CCU to one of those. In fact, you can buy CCUs to ships that you don't even have. This will be important in a second when I explain how you save money in these CCU chains, all right? But let's say you bought this and you apply it. Okay, now you have an Aurora MR as your starting ship and it's now CCU'd to a cutter. You can apply a new CCU to the cutter as well. It always goes up. You cannot CCU to something that's worth the same price. You will see that as I go here to the cutter, it only offers me CCUs to ships that are more expensive, not the same price. So for the, the next ship, well, it's not even a ship, it's a vehicle, the Ursa Rover. I, sh I check this out and there you have another CCU, okay? And this goes on and on. You can apply a number. I mean, you can apply all of the CCUs you want to a ship as long as it's available 
which is not always the case because of this artificial scarcity model that they have that's so effective. But if you have it and you buy it, you can keep it and apply it eventually. It's also the case that you can melt. You can melt anything. You can melt the ships that you bought, the CCUs, the different upgrades. You can even melt paints. All of that that is in your permanent hangar, you can melt. It's going to be saying exchange actually in the button, but you exchange it for store credit. You get money in your accounts and you no longer have that specific item. It does go back into your buyback account where you can eventually buy it back, but it will depend on if there's any price differences. If it has changed in price, it can change as well. It's not set in stone. The only thing that's set in stone is your permanent hanger. If you melt it, it's no longer there. But buybacks are a thing, and many people buy and sell at different times. So as we have a number of those buybacks, and at any moment you can go buy and back, buy again that thing that may no longer be available because the event, IAE or whatever it is, is over. That's something that actually people do so as to sell ships in the gray market. But that goes beyond the purpose of this video. Now, how is it that I save money? Well, if I go up here, you will see that there's one ship that has two options, the New Spirit AI. This one gives me the option of buying War Bond or buying Standard Edition. This is what I buy, what I can buy with the, with the credit that I have in, in, in the game, right? Because I melted a ship and I wanna buy something different. Okay, this is what I can do. But there's also War Bond. War Bond simply means it's a fancy word for new cash in game. This means that I go with new cash and I get a nice little discount. Now, that is interesting because how is it I can take advantage of this? Well, what you can do is get, again, remember, you can buy CCUs to ships that you don't even own. As long as it's being sold, you can go, instead of using your ships, you go into all ships and you can buy CCUs to anything. What I want to do is get as close as I can to that Spirit AI so as to get the most amount of discount. So if I scroll down, I will find, and if it's just too close, if it's just one ship uh, before it, the, CC, the War Bond may not be offered, right? There's always that possibility, but let's say I go with a Saber, $170, right? And the options I have of ships being sold right now, well, I can go with the AI Spirit, and I have the two options, 170 $200, but the war bond discount is quite nice. Instead of spending $30, right, this is the option I would have if I only spend in credit, in game credit, but if I go with new money, if I spend four bucks, I can buy the CCU, which is a nice discount, right? So you see how here I end up with a, a CCU, a link to this CCU chain to whatever my target ship is. Let's say my target is the Constellation Andromeda. Okay, I will have that little discount and putting maybe 40 bucks of credit that I have or spending new money or something that I that I melted. Well, from that Spirit AI, I get to my final ship, which is the Andromeda, okay? Now, how is that you have those nice savings? You buy as many of these as you can. This may takes some time, so you have to be patient. Now, with the uh, with the expo, the sales uh, event that we have, every day some new ship will be offered, and it will usually include some kind of war bond. Now, not all war bonds are as nice as this one. Maybe you're saving 10 bucks, maybe you're saving five bucks, but buy the ones that offer you the most discount. And in fact, some of the more expensive once some of the more pricey ships may have a discount of 50 bucks or a hundred dollars for some of the really expensive ships so if what you want to buy is say like something like ridiculously expensive right you want to get yourself your your um uh, a 600 i or a, a carrack right 600 dollars well there's a good chance that you will have some ccu that will be 50 80 or even a hundred dollars in that chain but you want to get as many of those CCU chains discounted as you can. Maybe you buy some here, right? Especially for the more expensive ships. You buy during the event, during these two weeks. You buy as many CCU chains 
as you can maybe in May of next year for that other event that they have. So different little events and, and sales happen throughout the year. This is by far the largest one, the International Space Expo. This is where you, you buy the, the most uh, war bond CCUs for the greater discounts. But there's people that wait for years, maybe a full year or maybe even several years, buying little chains so as to finally get to the ship that they want with a maximum amount of discount. And there's people that have saved 50%, 70% in some cases. If you're smart and you're patient, you can have some very nice discounts. Little final tip. What about the ship which would you start, which usually for people that have been in this a little bit more, they want to buy ships that have LTI. What is LTI? That's lifetime insurance. And there's a little bit of controversy about that. Some people think it's not a big deal. Lifetime insurance is the best kind of insurance you can have. When you buy your, your ship, your Aura MR, here it has three months insurance. Oh, what is that? Well, nothing. As of right now, that means nothing at all. Three months insurance is what you will have once the game actually launches. And if I'm correct, you probably will never see that day. You will probably never see Star Citizen actually launching. But if it does, eventually, at some point, you will have this insurance thing by which you need to pay, and I think it is within game, with game money, but basically when you lose your ship, you have to pay this insurance, and it's going to be with money from the game so there's a lot of people that think it's not a big deal sometimes you buy a, a new ship that has like a 10-year insurance but the best one is lti lifetime insurance and here's where people try to buy a lifetime insurance token what is a token a lti token is a very affordable ship for example something like the like one of the bikes right maybe I mean, yeah, a, a new bike. Let's say they offer the X1. So an X1 being offered during this expo, which is very likely, maybe going for 30 bucks, 40 bucks, right? Even the cutter was at some point a nice LTI token. The cutter going for 40 bucks with LTI, that was a nice LTI token. The token with LTI, you buy it and you start your CCU chain from there. So as to make the maximum amount of discounts in each link of that chain as you can. And the cool thing is that the insurance adds up. Always the best insurance applies. It is very rare that a CCU will have lifetime insurance. I think that at some point the Nomad had it, but usually it's the starting token. The LTI token that you start with, that's the one you want to have with LTI. Especially if you're going to be buying, you know, a, a, a bigger ship. And most people try to have all of their ships with LTI, especially some of the, the ones that have been around for more time. It's a little bit more of a, of a status thing or, you know, just <laughs> actual insurance eventually if that ends up being a thing. Uh, most people think it's not a big deal. But for those that want it, you want to have that LTI token so as to build the rest of your chain. Folks. That's the advice. If it sounds a little bit complicated, believe me, it is not. Watch the video again, and then when you see it in store yourself, you will see how it all makes perfect sense. Guys, take it easy, be responsible, and if you're gonna be buying something more expensive, try to save as much money as you can. Uh, CIG knows this perfectly well. It's just counting on some people being a little bit more discretionary when it comes to spending money, so they allow you this CCU little chain thing game, and for people that don't care, they just buy straight away. But it's always nice to have things for less money. Guys, see you on the next video, take care.